Good morning, Ski World. I'm Jeff with Shaggies here. I am a partner and ski designer. We have a super cool custom request um, to build a six or sub six pound pair of Amik 95s for a customer in New York. He does a lot of backcountry skiing. He's gonna have these on uh, in his bag to get to snow. He's gonna be traveling all over. He's had other custom ski makers try to make him this ski and they've not been able to do it so far. So we are on the case right now. We're gonna be making a sub six pound pair of Amik 95s. It's gonna be really interesting because we have some serious constraints here. We're working on our Amik 95 shape. We're not making something totally unique and, and being able to cut weight here and there. We're building a solid ski. We're having full si sidewalls on the ski. We're doing a mini cap around the top edge. All these things, they might add a little bit of weight to the ski. Um, versus a super lightweight pair, but we have these constraints that we're working with. We're making it um, basically to his spec using our ski model. So follow along. We're going to go through a couple of different construction types. We're actually going to build an additional pair of skis before his. Let's get in. We're going to go start designing these skis, get ready to start building, see how the first, first pair comes out, and then crush it on the second pair for him. Here in Michigan, we've got some of the best lumber in the world. So we're gonna peel this off. We got a fresh load of aspen here, really nice clear wood. We've got a big load of, uh, of poplar. We've got ash going through the whole place. This is what the ski cores are gonna be built with. So once we actually get through, going through and grading our lumber here, we're gonna rip it up, we're gonna flex it and we're gonna turn this into a ski core blank. So follow along as I go through the wood shop. So once we have finished lumber coming out of the planer, we're gonna go ahead and rip it down into little strips on the table saw. After that point, we're able to go through, grade that lumber. Essentially, we're taking out any pieces that have knots in them, that have too much warping anything that's extraneous, it's too soft, it's too stiff. Once we've sorted all the good lumber out, we're gonna go ahead and measure how stiff each strip of lumber is so that we can go back and laminate them together in a symmetrical fashion from the inside out. And then we're gonna go ahead and make two ski cores that match exactly, and they're gonna live together for the rest of their life. So now that we have this core blank built, head over to the CNC where we're going to mill it down to its final size. So now we have all of our parts made. We've got an ultra lightweight core. We've got carbon fiber, a unidirectional and a biaxial that we're going into, the, that we're putting in the ski. We have everything prepped. We have our cores weighed. We know exactly how much variation there is between the two. It's wood. There's always going to be a little bit, but it's very minimal. Um, so now we're going to be going through and getting everything laid up. Um, we're going to load it into this lower press bay here as soon as we get through. Typically, uh, my father, John, and I don't lay up as many skis, but uh, we're going to hop in and tag team this one. Um, well, he's saying he might do more. And uh, we're going to see how they come out. This is the test pair. This is the one before the show. So take a look and we'll see how they come out.
Okay, so we just pulled these skis out of the finishing room. We don't even have the top film pulled off. We have a weight of how much they were when they were pressed with all their flashing. Now we're gonna get a final weight. There's a few things that we know that we've gotta change up for the final pair, but uh, let's see where these hang out. Fifty-two ounces. Four ounces. We need to take four ounces off. This top film on here weighs 0.6 ounces, so 3.4 ounces have to come out of this ski. So we're not far off for a uh, for this prototype sample. So for this next build, we're gonna use a little bit lighter weight biaxial carbon fiber. We're gonna go from like a 4.5 ounce per square yard to a three ounce per square yard biaxial carbon. Um, that's gonna help reduce weight everywhere, take a little bit of resin out of the ski. We're gonna do a separate layup on a different bench um, to make sure that we take any excess resin out of the ski because weight is so critical. A couple, you know, two ounces matter between these. And then we're gonna be using a little bit lighter weight core to make sure that we have the lightest aspen in house and we're taking the core profile down a little bit. We do have a smaller binding mat, um, just a form fitting binding mat uh, made of epoxy underneath the uh, binding area of the skis to reinforce everything. But at that point, we are gonna be right on. We're ready to go into this layup, so we're gonna jump right in and see how it turns out. Okay, so the time is here. The skis have been finished. They are looking really good. They're super light. We're gonna put them on the scale and see how close we got. Target six pounds. Customer gave us plus one ounce. That's all we get. He won't take them if they're any more than six pounds, one ounce per pair of skis. So let's go ahead and toss them on the scale. 6.022 pounds. We have up to 6.06 .06 pounds. So I suppose we are 0.022 pounds off of target. I don't think we could get any closer than that to being dead on. I mean, that is a matter of 0.3 ounces that we're right on schedule. I mean, I guess we could grind off a little bit more off the base and hit that dead nuts on, but for pulling off the production line right there, we thought we were gonna do it, and we hit it. This is the lightest pair of Amique 95s that we have ever made, bar none. We're super excited. It's been really a fun project to figure out how light we can get these skis and kind of push our boundaries into what we can make. It takes a little bit more time, but when you think about it, you know, when you think about what can be done, give us a call because we want to take on these projects for you. We want to be able to say yes to what you want to come up with. So this might be the precursor for the new Shaggy's Pro Carbon line. Everything carbon, no fiberglass, lightweight wood cores. I mean, it's really cool when you think about the ski. It also has an Aspen wood core grown in North America, grown in the U.S. This isn't lightweight. Uh, polonia or balsa or some subpar wood that's not as strong this is really strong wood there's no compromise in this ski so it's gonna be a super fun pair and uh, let's see where this goes from here <laughs> <laughs> 